Hey guys, Kura Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Masters of the Universe Revelation. Last time on, Savage He-Man has entered the chat. I wonder what happens if I still say the words. I have the power! It did. It did. Something did happen. Something Actually, happened. Actually, I don't even think he said that part right. Didn't you say, like, by the power of Grayskull? Didn't he, how, did he say the full thing? Think so. No, he, I think I he was just so hyped said it was by the I power know. To me, all I feel like he said was just the beginning. He never got power to the I have the power school. part, and yeah. it just happened, you know? Yeah. Uh, but no, what does that mean? What's going to happen? Is he going to defeat him now? Did he take the sword? Does everyone die? Do they run away? I think we're super powerful. I don't we talked know. about how the, the, the sword was like a conduit of that power, but I, is there going to be some type of consequence allowing all that power into you? I mean, he might be strong, but I, it feels like he's not in control either. So maybe he can... Take on Skeletor, but maybe that's not necessarily a good thing for Attorney either. Maybe. maybe. We'll see. There's only one way to find out. Reason and blood. His closed left and he got out of one. Had him. Okay. He's gonna eat you, Skeletor! Oh, he's fast! fast. Oh! Oh, he's Dang. fast! Tear up all these minions. He's clutch god. And God felt it. <laughs> Skeletor's like, this is God. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is great. Hitting people with people. Ah. Gets the Hulk out. Aha. Oh. That's too small. My ass. Whoa. He makes it look so small. He like killed him all in a flash. Whoa. Awesome. That was it. I like it. That was it. Yeah. It was so fast you couldn't see it. Somebody get this guy off of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That screaming face. Yeah. yeah. Hoo 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 hoo. Man, they're still alive. Bring them back, yeah. They're undead. Dang, he brought them all back? What about the ones in half? Oh, well. Crawling. Must be that guy. Asked some answer. Well, we didn't see the backside. He just stands there and takes it. He does. Yeah. He's charging through it! The power's maximum. He's gonna kill me. Oh! Oh. That's a cool power to have. Teleportation? Sure. Oh, destructive disc! He punched it, and when it hit that, it exploded. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! Oh, he's big. That sound effect sounds like from a toy. Yeah, it, it sounds like it, an 80s toy. It's great. Very much sounds like a toy. What? He, he did, did it! it! He ate it! <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh! The VHS track him is off. It's time to leave now. Uh oh. What is that? Orb of Annihilation. Zor Vazetka. Shuk Mota. Zor Vazetka. Oh my gosh. Well, she's finding her magical abilities. Uh huh. Not a game! <laughs> <laughs> Who will we have here? The bumbling idiocies of the past will no longer be tolerated. <laughs> he spoke the words empty-handed, and he became the power incarnate. I don't know. I've only been like uh, this for an hour. Right. Please. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> I, wonder if I wonder if he's gonna turn everyone against him. I need to know how he did that. He looks so distraught. He does. For a skeleton face. It's great how emotive those optical lobes are. Now leave me! She literally no. can't go My away. lord, I, I can't. I'm stuck to this castle. <laughs> That's cool. Those shiny eyes are great, yeah. Can I? Bridget Spirits? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> It's like you turned into a battle cat. We in the palace, and Tila got a... Oh my gosh. Jeez. Never mind. <laughs> and that's what happened. What are we gonna do, Tila? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have any answers. Do, I'm not the sorceress. Did he make that path? <laughs> it looks too clean. Pretty easy to follow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 30 hours of this. Don't you ever sleep? 30 hours of tentacle attacks? Did he kill it? I'm 
surprised you didn't just kill it. Put it to sleep. All those years, you knew your great champion was really little Lord Weakling. Adam is the strongest man I've ever known. Until now. I'll bet you haven't let the power return once since you hijacked it. You want to know why we followed Adam? Because he had all the power of the universe at his fingertips, but he only chose to call it down when someone else needed it. He gave it away. That's what made him a hero. Maybe this way in was Skeleton realizing he's wrong? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Just create a duplicate of himself and get it back and forth. Uh, he needs it. He needs it. <laughs> uh, guys? Did he kill? Uh oh. Oh, the beast. Uh, is that a manticore? You need to calm Sun's down. Sun's getting real low, big guy. You need to focus. Mm -hmm. Tula? It's okay. How do you return the power? I have always believed in you. Even when your real family would. when your father didn't. <laughs> father! <laughs> You're gonna go do 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 do. do, 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 do. He said you went. <gasps> <laughs> hey, there's a camp or a, a village or something. Is that? Point Fred! It's shrouded by the power of Grayskull from Skeletor's dark magic. We're saved! Point Dread. Dread? Why does that sound like a bad guy's place, too? Wait. That's the royal seal. That means that King Randor is here. That's the seal? Adam, don't! No! Why'd you say that in front of him? Does he not like the king? He's angry at him. Because the, the king didn't believe in him. <laughs> I would hate to see that running out of the woods at me. <laughs> oh man. I'm a giant naked man. <laughs> 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 what were they blowing the horn about before? Right is returning. They threw it like that. Oh, it's just telling me machine gun. Oh, I'm gonna kill the left of their army. Skeletor had a hard time stopping him. I don't know if you guys can do it. They all look like Doom Guy. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Restrain him. More at one time. Yes, more restraint. Yes. They're really good with those lassos. Jeez, look how many men. <laughs> and now chains. We guys get them to stop killing people. Oh! They had a keyblade. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Those eyes. I did not dream to look on them again. The power has smiled upon our house and given us this second chance. I had completely failed as a father. Stand down now! I was meant to be the king, but I've only ever been the fool. And I'm so, so sorry. Hug him. <laughs> I haven't told you I loved you, but I never told you I'm proud of you. Yeah, they got his clothes back. <laughs> Dang. I was hoping he'd be naked. I mean, only people for like seven episodes, and that was a very emotional scene. Yeah. <laughs> Skeletor said he gives you your power, but he's wrong. You are the sorceress now. His power flows only through you. But he doesn't use it. He spends all his hours obsessing over He-Man and what he sees in that ridiculous star chamber. I don't know where he's leading us. Then maybe it's time you lead. We're both going to forget you said that out loud. Now turn and leave this room as quickly as your filthy, seditious paws can carry you before I skin you alive and wear you like a fur coat. I kind of like his loyalty to her. 
Yeah. Oh, she knows where they are. Now, show me every other instance of the power being relinquished. Willingly or not. Ooh. Interesting. Damn it, these are too short. I know. They're really good. Man, I do not have a spot link. Relinquished. Mm -hmm. This is a cue. Dang, where was it? Damn, I missed the end. I was like, ah, relinquished, yes, and then I skipped the end. <laughs> so it's relinquished. relinquished. <laughs> I felt like the king was familiar and I um, couldn't remember who. We've talked about it last time when we found out who it was, but I can't no. remember who it is this time. I don't remember his name either. Was it King's name? Anyone know? Uh, uh, Randor. Yeah, King Randor. Randor? And Queen Marlene. Diedrich Bader. Ah, uh, Batman. One of the Batman. There's a lot of Batman. There's a lot of Batman. But he's, he was, he's been a Batman. He's been Batman. So it's Bowden, our friend. In what um, versions? Yeah. Um, I know he was Batman in the Harley Quinn show. Um, he was Batman in uh, what's that one? Is it one of the newer cartoons? I'm trying to think what it was, what it was called. It's like Batman something. Not Batman Forever. Batman. Not Batman Beyond. What was it? It was Brave and the Bold. Hmm. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. You, I, you might have seen him in stuff before. I got him from the Drew Carey show. I was gonna say, was he in Drew Carey show? Oh, I think he's also yeah, in that later. too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've seen his face before. Yeah. yeah. When you said that he was Batman, Harley Quinn, like, oh, okay, that guy. Yeah. But I was trying to picture him like, man, I know that voice. He's, he's got such guy. a rectangular head. He does. But yeah, he's been Batman in a few things. He's been some other voices and stuff too. He does a lot more, a lot of voice acting. I don't know if he's in live action stuff as much anymore. He's he's in in Jay and Silent Bob uh, Strike Back, which was directed by Kevin Smith, and this was produced by Kevin Smith, so maybe that's how he got the job. I still haven't seen that, the new one. Yeah. Of Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, reboot. I want to see it too. Yeah. <sighs> it's interesting to have this big old He Man just tearing through everything and not caring for a damn thing. It's a very yeah. incredible Hulk, but I don't mind it. Sure. Because I, I, I like the idea that this is what happens without the conduit. Sure. Without the sword. Without the, the the refinement and the attunement to to who Adam is. Mm -hmm. There were some elements in the fight that I liked but then also didn't like. Like, I liked when he ran out the door with the axe and it was just kind of like... Yeah. And, like, you couldn't really tell exactly what was going on. It was just, like, so fast. But then there was a the part where, like, they were all overwhelming him and it felt like it was very jumpy. Yeah. And I was like, this was... part bothers me. I don't like yeah. this part as much. Well, but... I, it was like, I don't know, like 12 frames a second, that one. Yeah, yeah. that part was weird, but then I was like, but like last season, like I, I enjoyed some of the fights they had, like when they were fighting on the mountain against those guys, and it was like Tila and Adam, <laughs> or whatever it was, He-Man fighting or something yeah. like that. Yeah, like, that was Skeletor cool. was much better. Yeah, I like that. I, I, but that part there, I was like, I don't like this one so much, where it's like kind well, of jumping these around. days, I mean, because everything is still, I think, animated to 12 frames a second, but they would do the artificial smoothing to get to 24, right? Maybe just the nature, because that was kind of like a more three D but two D animated thing. Like there maybe was so much fast it's hard to smooth, happening. and they just kept it at this original twelve frames a second. Maybe, maybe. But I don't know. That's just my uninformed. Yes. That part I thought was like uh, this is weird. I hope it doesn't stay like this because it, it feels odd to me. It and also then, looks faster, even though it's jumpier. But then there was something about the way he had the sword when he was running out, and he was like, and like, it still felt like it wasn't like a smooth framing thing, but the way it was, yeah. Felt like this is a fun idea of him like being so fast that it's just cutting through and you're just like jump 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 jump, and I kind of like that part, but I didn't like the first part. Sure. But then the Skeletor part, I, I didn't have any issues with. I don't know. I, I kind of feel like uh, when you do that type of thing that you're talking about, like the ch -ch -ch real quick stuff, that's still like keyframe art, and then they just have the transitional scenes between. Yeah. Whereas the 3D one that's spun around, like it's all keyframe art, so it's literally every single one is like you have to draw every single one of these frames, sure. as opposed to like being able to to cheat by doing like a frame here and then going 10 frames here and then the computer will literally make frames for you sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, th again, all just guesses <coughs> because I don't know how Yeah, I don't know what done. it is. But, but otherwise, like I thought it was fun. I liked watching him fight Skeletor and I thought it was really cool. It's very, yeah, it, it, I love seeing the powers. The Skeletor like laser thing sounded like so an good. old 80s toy yeah. where like you would have it like doo, 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 doo. like it yeah, sounded just like hold the button down and it goes yeah. Yeah. it sounded like something like that and I'm like I wonder if it really was a He-Man toy sound effect that like Skeletor used to have 
and they're just like putting it like remake this sound and put yeah. it in there um, or sample it yeah <laughs> oh the he-man bit that one oh that one bolt yeah. of the energy it reminded stuff me of the guys i want to do aqua players bite the puck bite the puck reminded me of that <laughs> oh my gosh Uh, I mean, you know, and again, not having seen the original show or, or like, you know, very small amount of it, I don't know if Mystic Mountains or the Orlacs are things that have come before. Sure. But they said the Orlacs like, can't be killed. Yeah. Well, and they also said, like, yeah, so Duncan put him there. He put it there, yeah. So, so like, it feels like and maybe all, that was a yeah. a story back in the old He-Man cartoon, and it's like, well, whatever happened to that? And it's like, oh, well, this is where, this mm-hmm. is where it went. So like maybe if you watched it, you know yeah. what that is. Otherwise, to me, it's just like, oh, what are all these tentacles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold it. Yeah. Hold it. But yeah, I don't know what an Orlax is. Amiria. Um, I did, for not really having connection to He-Man, and this being my first time through, we had, what, five episodes in the first part, and then two episodes here. Like, the, the things the father said to King. Yeah. I, it felt very emotional and really, yes. really good. I really liked it. And like yeah. I had little tears, tear welling up in my yeah. eyeballs. Well, yeah, and it pays moment, off. You know? Like the old cartoon, like he's such an idiot, he doesn't realize that yeah. Adam is He Man. Yeah, he's always <laughs> getting down on Adam for yeah, but here not he, being He Man. You can see him now. It's interesting because like those are those are made to be the the you just catch one, you understand what's going on, you don't sure. have to worry about an overarching story or anything, and then it's like all right, well now we're gonna do this and all those things where like it still all kind of happened. Yeah. But we're going to kind of bring things together in a way where it's like, yeah. it has some meaning to it's it. It's like the too, last season you know? of Lucifer. It's like all starts to finally pay off. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to, yeah. So I, I just like, I, I, I wonder what I would feel had I watched it beforehand. Because like, I don't have those connections. But I feel like this show's been pretty good. And I know people were upset before with the last season, like not having enough He-Man. But I think it's because they were going in a direction they wanted to do. And I'm curious to see what they do with it. Yeah, like we didn't. I love He Man powered up here, but I feel like we really didn't get to see He Man fight hardly at all. Not enough. In the first five? Yeah, it was yeah. so good in that first episode. I think but had, then it was also Cyborg He Man, too, that yeah. we thought we were seeing. I think we had two scenes somewhere where yeah. one was against like the something in the mountain with like a net. I remember that scene. And yeah. I remember like maybe something we in had, the water. Yeah. Uh, there was one on the boat. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. a flashback. And I every feel like episode, those two had like every episode had He Man, but it was never like in the actual present of what was happening. Yeah, skunk. I want him back. Yeah. That was uh, Stinkor. 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 Yeah, that was, right. yeah, yeah. That was I Jason Mewes. I want him back. <clears throat> I love how they explain it here. Of the real power is letting it go. Yeah. Like you have all this tremendous power, and a lesser man would just keep that all the time mm-hmm. and just be that or sure but. when Duncan mentioned that I was thinking that before I'm like man Skeletor I bet he will just stay in this form because like mm-hmm. it's power why would he give up power and stuff but I like that Duncan brought that up And that, yeah. but that might be like the key to why the power can be wielded even without the sword it's because he's he's like got really good karma with that power I guess <laughs> maybe he only calls upon it for others yeah for others not for the cell so all the power in the universe between the two things, like we had uh, Skeletor wanting to know more from Duncan. Yeah, and like the, tell me the more. giving away the power. But we also had Evelyn wanting to know about relinquishing the power, willingly and unwillingly. Do you yeah. think that hers is based on Skeletor or on He Man? Like, is she looking at uh, stopping Adam from being able to be that, or is she thinking more of like Skeletor and stopping him from the power? I mean, what Beastman was talking about, and like, hey, we could be following you because, yeah, he's all powerful, but that's coming. From you, the sorceress, if you could figure this out, yeah, maybe we can not have Skeletor. Maybe Evelyn becomes the new good sorceress yeah. at the end of all this. I was thinking about that cool. too, where like Tila right now has like, I guess I was thinking like, oh man, Tila could be the sorceress, and I was like, well, I kind of would rather have Tila be able to stay out and fight with Adam, and maybe you know, maybe be the new like man at arms. Yeah, you know, Duncan's yeah. getting old, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I was like, what about? Evelyn, who is a sorceress now, but is bad, but she has had those like complicated looks and feelings. I think, like maybe she could be the new sorceress. Tila could be like the new man at arms, and we could still have Adam be him. Sure, especially with as angry as she was last episode, realizing that that Skeletor was just feeding off of her. You know, that he wouldn't have existed without her the whole time. Mm-hmm. And now it's the same way, where he can't yeah. exist with this extra power. Without her. And yet he's in charge. Yeah. And either, 
Like she is giving power to He Man, because it's the power of Grey Skull, and she can sure. use Grey Skull, or it's channeled through her. There's yeah. a circumvention that she's not aware of. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Well, like, is all the magic? There's not all the magic is through Grey Skull, because or- Orca, 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 Orca was doing magic stuff. He which comes from, from something else. Dimension. I think. Right? He does, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean... Um, it's like what Tila's doing isn't coming from Grayskull, right? Evelyn's magic doesn't come from Grayskull. Yeah, she has like a scepter yeah. and stuff, yeah. right? So there's like another element there. I was but, just wondering like Tila's stuff, how that mm-hmm. comes to be. I think Tila's is through it because it shimmers the same way that the, the star the sorceress does. Did yeah. too. Like the, the previous sorceress. I mean, hmm. Grayskull's still the source because whenever it was like being destroyed or something happened, like magic was leaving the whole world, right? Yeah. Well, I thought so. Yeah, yeah. Because even like, Evelyn, because, yeah, because that's the, why she was helping. The because, magic was cut yeah. off from Eternia, mm-hmm. and the the castle was like breaking down yeah. and stuff. Because it's really that like crystalline structure under yeah. the castle. I just wonder if ultimately, if like all the magic flows from the sorceress overall yeah. because of that, but like she's connected to something greater, and then she yeah. can like help be like a conduit to send it mm-hmm. out. But I don't, I don't know exactly yeah. how it works. Maybe she can divert it, some of it to places, but she doesn't control the entire flow. Sure. Like, like if, she, if she blocks it off, then there's like a build-up or something. That could be, honestly, that could be Skeletor's greatest mistake was that he was like, well, she's a tool that I can use to then give me the power, but I think he accidentally gave her all the power, <laughs> not really realizing how important that was. Yeah, if anything, he should have been in the sources. Maybe they live in space. Yeah, the, the father, like, he saw Tila and uh, and Andra, I think is her name. Andra. And Cringer. And yeah. I think that's when he realized, oh, no, that is Adam. Because at first I was like, oh, you can, I see your eyes. I'm like, you saw a He-Man's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he, he was oblivious yeah. to it. He was like, oh, I'm such this great ruler. Mm-hmm. He didn't give his, his son even the credit of thinking yeah. that that could be possible. He's fated to play the role of the king, but I played the role of the fool. Yeah. No, I, I like like every line he had there, yeah. and like he's willing to like he's stand down. He's getting close to this monster, you know, like the whole time. Yeah, and like but whenever he he, when he went up like this, I'm like, oh, he's gonna hug him. He's gonna hug him. <laughs> and I, I just thought it was really good. Yeah, I liked it a lot. And then he, I liked the transformation down to then Adam hugging him back. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Really good sweet. stuff. It was not a lot left, unfortunately. Ah, I'm gonna have to make my kids watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make them. force them. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Masters of the Universe Revelation with us. Please come along as we finish uh, the rest of this part. Uh, we're going to have one up every week, but we have all of them available right now at patreon.com slash flywood as reward for support, plus a lot of awesome other stuff in there as well. So, see ya. Bye.